When Formula One introduced V6 engines to the cars, we didn't like it. When cars were fitted with petrol particulate filters, we didn't like the more muted nature of the sound. And when Porsche released a 718 Cayman as a four-cylinder, turbocharged two-litre engine, well, you get the picture. So I made this video because I want to know what you guys think about this car, what it sounds like. Now, there's two ways of looking at it. There's a technical thing that the car sounds good in your mind because it's something about how your brain reacts to V6s, V8s, V10s, V12s. But I don't know about the technical bit. I have no idea. What I know about is the subjective view, though. What you guys think and what I think of the car. You know, we all think differently about different cars. We like different sounds over other sounds. So what I want to know in this video is what you guys think of this car, whether you guys think it sounds good or not. I'm going to try and do some low speed driving, some higher speed driving. And at the end of the video, I want you guys to comment below and tell me what you think. Make sure also to like the video and please, please subscribe. I'm so close to a thousand subscribers and it'd be amazing if you could. But for now, let's go for a drive. But before we go for a drive, let's start with a start up. Now this car has three different modes and it does make the different sounds. You've got normal mode, which is the quietest mode, also apparently the most economical, I never use it. There's sport mode, which is the loudest and that's where exactly I spend all my time. Uh, apparently it is the loudest and hopefully that's the one you think is gonna sound the best. And then we've got sports plus, which is not the loudest, but it's the fastest for the car, makes it the most sporty. And um, there is also individual, which is you can set the car up yourself but I never use that. So let's do start up in normal, in sport and sport plus and see what you think. Didn't really go according to plan, did it? I don't think there was much difference between any of the modes, the normal sport or sport plus. You guys comment what you think below, whether you think normal sport or sport plus was best on the startup. But now let's jump in, let's go for a drive and let's see what you guys think when this car is under load, when it's accelerating hard. Let's see if it sounds any better. I'm now inside the car, I've just started it. I'm in sport straight away. It is the loudest mode. I wanna make sure that you guys have the best chance of knowing whether you think this car is good or not. There are three things that I think make this car sound good. Firstly, it revs to 7,000 RPM, which is, for a turbocharged car, pretty impressive. The second thing is that it's not got the petrol particulate filter. It's a 2018 model, so hopefully it's gonna be a little bit louder. And the third thing, well, actually, when you're driving slowly, you can actually get some crackles and pops. So that's what I'm going to try and do and try and make sure I can try and capture that as best as possible. So let's go. Right, I'm going to go into manual to start with and see. Oh, can you hear a couple? Can you hear just a couple of little... Just a couple of little crackles and pops. As soon as you take your foot off the accelerator, it just starts to hint that it's going a... Uh... Oh, can you hear? Right, let me just change it up. And then... Okay, no. 
show. So it's really difficult to kind of capture the sound when it's driving it's, it's slowly. But there is some crackles and pops when you are driving slowly and you just let the car just ease off as you do, again. Yeah, so as you're driving very slowly, if you just ease off a little bit, there are some crackles and pops, which obviously is the idea. To be honest, right. This is gonna be the first little squirt, shall I say, of, of power. Let's give it a go. Did you hear that? Crackles and pops. Yeah. Not on the first, just on the second. Oh, 7,000 RPM. Change down. Little one, little one. Just so quick. Oh, it's dry. Seven thousand RPM is unbelievable. It's so loud. Let's change down. Couple of cracks and pops, but nothing major. So in sports mode, it sounds pretty all right. I mean, yes, you can hear some crackles and pops on the down changes, but it's not like my John Cooper words were. If you've never seen my John Cooper words, can I have like a couple of old videos. I'll put some links somewhere. Um, have a little listen. It was unbelievable. It had a pro tuning exhaust, a little valve in the exhaust that when you open it, it sounds godly. It's unbelievable. It's not quite got the same crackles and pops that that did, did, that's for sure. But it does have a really nice sound. And when you do get those crackles and pops, it does make you, oh, it makes you feel excited. And the annoying thing is, it doesn't happen every time. And that's what I want. I want it to happen every time. But firstly, crackles and pops. I think because of that, the car does sound good. Uh, I just needed to do more. I know it's good, just need more, you know. It's good. Like the, the engine note itself is just a noise. It doesn't sound tuneful. Um, if you know what I mean. Even though this is a four-cylinder, two-litre, like my Mini was, the Mini had more tune to it. And things like S3s and Golf Rs, they just have a bit more, more to them, you know? Um, this one doesn't quite have a nice sound about it. You know, I, I, melodically, it's not nice, but it's loud. And that's the second thing I want to get onto. It is loud. So let me just kick down a bit. Listen how loud it is. loud it, I mean 7,000 RPM I'll go back to it but it is so loud which is a nice thing see again it doesn't crackle every time but when it does I like it a lot want that more Porsche please oh did you hear that a little far oh it stays really warm and it's grippy And loud. God. Blimey. Made a mistake here, haven't I? Going down that level edge. Oh, no. That's good. Sorry, hello. Yes, sir. Oh, God. God, off roading now. It does roll. I'm going to stop here for a second. It does sound good because it sounds loud. And yes, it's not tuneful, as I say, but it is loud. And actually, sometimes loud kind of trumps it a little bit. So. Let's go to the next bit, which is 7,000 RPM. I'm just going to pull away. Hopefully, I've got a camera up here. Hopefully, hopefully you, this one, does pick up the fact that this car sounds so good at the higher end revs. Um, I, was, I was watching a Le Mans uh, movie, you know the Le Mans with Matt Damon and, and Christian Bale in it, right? And there's a quote in there, I'm sure it's from, it's, it's from an actual quote. Uh, and it says, when you get to 7,000 RPM, everything kind of falls away and it just, it's just a noise. And this car honestly does that. So let's just do it. Fang Christ on the bike. So quick. It's just, it's just perfect. It's a symphony of just loud noise and just 
Oh god, it's just so good. There's some crackling pops there, definitely. The 7,000 RPM, there's just something about it that just makes an absolute difference. You can tell I really like the way this car sounds. The speed, the loudness of it, the 7,000 RPM. When it screams at 7,000 RPM, you, what, can you, what can you beat? You can't beat it, it just sounds so good. So yes, and the last part of the video, which I wanted to explain to you is, it hasn't got a petrol particulate filter. So I didn't appreciate the time when I bought the car, it's a 2018, it's about a year old. It hadn't gone to the petrol particulate filter one, which is a much more muted car. Actually, this car sounds really loud. So one of my friends who's got a 140i, so you know, think of that what you will. Uh, he thinks this car sounds louder than my John Cooper works. Now, I can never really hear this car outside unless I'm obviously standing outside of it. But I don't hear it kind of when it's on full chat. I don't hear that. And he said, honestly, it sounds much louder than your John Cooper works. So that's awesome. That's a good thing. But I think it is down to the fact that this has not got a petrol particulate filter. Now, if you go and mess around with your Porsche, then you may get into a bit of sticky bother when it comes to Porsche. Because if you have warranty work or something and you've, you've changed it, they might not touch it. Also, when it comes to MOT, if it fails an emissions test, you're going to have to sort it out by basically putting whatever you took out back in. Um, but I don't know what the rules are if you, if you change the exhaust to a, a sporty type sport cat system or a, or a different cat back system. I'm sure it'll be louder but it would still still stay within regulation. So there's probably something you can do. I did look at doing one, Remus do one, it's just over two grand, and it's the cat back, I think. Um, if you wanna have a complete system, like all the way through to like the headers, all the way through to the tips, it's four or five grand, and it's extensive work. It's probably because the engine is there, the engine's right, right in the middle there. So actually, it's all compact around it, probably a lot of work to do, whereas not like, my John Cooper works, which was in the middle of the car, there's a separation between like a cat and then the bit behind the cat, the rest of the exhaust, and it's quite easy, you just unbolt them, put your new one on. This, not so much. But, petrol particulate filter means it runs a little bit smoother and opens a little bit more, so then when you do this, it absolutely screams, oh, God. So guys, Let's just go back into normal mode. That has been the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to see what you guys think. So comment below right now what you think. Does the 718 Cayman sound good? I think so, do you? Make sure to like the video and subscribe to see future videos. But for now, I'll see you soon. I've got to